G'day everyone, welcome to Football Manager 18, uh, we're playing as Central Coast Mariners of course. Today is our first official uh, fixture, it's the FFA Cup, which runs really early in the preseason for us, but that's so that we can accommodate for the uh, semi-professional teams that run in the uh, national or state leagues. As they play uh, calendar year, we play um, to match the European season, and so there's this little overlap uh, throughout July, August, and all the way through to September, October, where the teams sort of like uh, overlap in terms of all being there and training and, and in coots. So it's slightly um, slightly struggling for us. Uh, like we're not for fitness and things like that, but Sydney will be in the same boat, so it's not, not too big a worry. Um, funny thing is, is that this is essentially what first first versus last for this year. So Sydney are a pretty tough opponent to face. Oh, Pouage, I just missed one right up front. Um, there's a little bit of screen tear from the accelerated game. Obviously, I'm speeding this up in post-commentary. <laughs> but um, it actually looks kind of cool. I like it. I like the effect. I should do that more often. <laughs> um, Sydney are going to be quite tough. I don't know how we're going to go. Like, we're pretty defensive, so maybe they'll struggle to break us down. Things like that are going to be an issue, though. If we have six men in the box and not one of them can mark a solo striker for a header then we've, we've got issues that's gonna be a thing like again we we get caught out of the back post there that's pretty disappointing um, I, I think that's a common trend through this game we, we seem to lock up at the back nicely and then it'll take like one pass to split us and that just can't be happening and whether that gets better with a bit more cohesion within the team or the players get used to each other or whether we need to make changes to our formation or strategy or roles or some of the defensive line being higher or lower and things like that we, we'll need to keep a close eye on that because things like that shouldn't be happening just to cross across the front of all our guys and then volley it at the goal like that was uncontested like that again just one pass and the striker finds space for us some of our play isn't so bad oh that almost went in um when we get the ball and we play it out of the back, we have some really interesting plays. I'll show you some if they, if, if and when they come up. Um, here we get, like, they just, they don't mind if they spread us, and I don't mind if we parry that out. It's it's the the general play that when they throw the ball in the middle, we're not marking it. Get another shot there. It's really disappointing. I think that was the only one on target so far. We're kind of lucky. Um, See, that's, this kind of th yeah, that kind of thing's not so bad. We play the ball in and out. We want the wing backs up. They're going to be an in integral part of how we how we line up and how we play. So that's good. Um, I think we get torn up again here. I oh, know that was just a, a terrible, terrible miss shot. Fortunately, the keeper stepped up and threw it out the way there. No, what are we doing? That's offside or a foul or something. Um, you'll notice we're holding a lot of possession. That is clearly just us playing out at the back. Um, I'm okay with that. Again, this game hasn't really shown us too much of that, but our passing game isn't so bad. Cool, that wasn't too bad either. That was good. It was, again, the in and out kind of strategy I like. We're, we're playing it into guys in and around the box and then playing it back out to the wings or little drop-offs. I think we could really probably... Do, we just need a like a big strike or a target man. That would be amazing if we could get someone who's just a massive presence, and he just plays other players in. Just to, I don't know if that's like because their other players are so much better. It would just be that it would just upset a lot of teams in this league. I'm not sure they're all fully trained in handling that kind of movement. Um, Australian football is very. Um, I don't know, I don't want to say tunnel vision, that's a bit rude, but it, it does look forward. See, we're going to emphasize looking at the overlapping here. We need to play those wing backs in. We need to, we've got direct passing on. We need to play it forward, but then we need to be ready to hold it up and drop off the wingers. I think we brought in Hul. Did we just bring him on, or was he on at the start? Uh, we're missing De Silva. He was on a under-23s international camp, which, in the <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of contestion in the um, in the uh, real life Mariners about things like that they want you to you know they want to, A League wants to encourage teams to have young players but then they keep shipping off to camps that aren't in the international windows which kind of hurts teams that have gone that way we're under the pump here Sydney have really come out hard in the second half it's hard to say when they've got 
now 11 shots on tar uh, 11 shots but only one on target are we are we really doing bad or are we forcing them to take wild shots you know if it's like you could say oh well if they just got a few more on target we'd be in heaps of trouble but you could also say yeah but we're not allowing them to get easy shots you have to really watch the games to understand things like that i'd say it's about 50 50 at the moment they having shots like that was kind of not a that was like a low percentage shot but he did well on the keeper but i think keeper would stop that most of the time what are we offside there I used some of the touchline shouts you would have just seen there. Um, we're just talking about orders in terms of whether we're proper counter-attacking or we're just playing a standard thing. See, there's the sort of direct thing. So that was good. We played it forward, dropped it into midfield, and then we got it into our midfielders. And then we built up again. And again, the long pass, pull it back. And we need those teams then not sure which line they need to be marking. Any team that wants to press us shouldn't be able to move quick enough as a unit to cover us if we go back and forth or in and out and when we don't have the best players ball movement is going to be the key to defeating these teams that was actually a pretty good example before see here we go again we go forward it didn't quite pay off that time but you can see the strategy that we're working for and you can see it probably won't help because it's sped up not slow down but you can see how many players we're just getting into the space it's not quite in the shape that I want yet, but I'm hoping that'll come in time. But just getting seven or eight players behind the ball, uh, look, we're just having a quick look what's working, what isn't. You see what I mean about Hul? I mentioned him last episode. He can do amazing things, but he's just really not liking that role. Um, we're just trying something else. Rose is a bit more of a bit better with the ball at his feet in terms of playing other people in. Hul likes to run with it. I think that was a mistake, but <laughs> we had a chat with Rose and said, Yeah, go do your thing. Um, Sydney must be getting pretty frustrated. Definitely hope teams get frustrated. And oh my god, Bobo almost killed us. We, we need to be stopping that. We have two huge center defenders. We can't let him get free and win, especially to win headers. We, we need to be on top of that. And then the long ball. We get broken again after the corner. We're not quite set. We don't track the winger for the cross. And the um, young center defender puts one away. So now we have to change a little bit. We have to go on the attack. We have to start looking at who's going to score. Uh, we bring some youngsters on at the back. Um, just We need fresh legs. Uh, we don't want to get torn up. We need to attack, but we need to make sure we don't get hit on the break. I'm pretty sure that's why I brought uh, Kai, Ro Kai Rolls on. That was pretty disappointing. We've not had enough shots at this point. That The problem is we missed that one really early. Uh, Buaja missed one, and that that's just... If we'd have scored that, could you imagine how different this game would have been? <laughs> so we've changed. Uh, we've got Puaja and uh, who was it? Bing uh, Bingham rotating in and out of striker and, and midfield. So that's something. Look, we're definitely like overload. Get forward. Get desperate. I'm yelling at the team. Get forward. All those things. Sydney are getting chances, but we're scrambling like crazy. I mean, even even with the score as it is, we're, we're doing quite well, really, considering last season we would have struggled to hold them to a 1-0 result. I guess, I don't know if it helps that we're at home, I guess so. I hope we're putting on a good show for the fans. This is a good little play, look, we get the ball in, we get it out wide, we go to the other side, and then look at that, we put the ball away, and <laughs> immediately get off the overloading, and let's get back and defend. And we went from side to side, it popped out, but... Just the fact that defense had been strung from one end to the other, they weren't totally marking and the awareness of where the guys at the back post weren't. And so we found space to get a shot off. It was a bit desperate and a bit lucky, but I, you know, every bit of luck, you kind of contribute a little bit yourself. I think that one missed, even though it looked like it went in, or it was an offside, even though it went in. Got a bit lucky there. Here we go, hit him on the break. No, hit us on the break. Oh, and that was an incredibly crazy cross. So one all. We're running out of time, and this will go into extra time if it's still a draw. It's, oh, I mean, again, we we're, we're doing well. We're like, really, you've got to say we put in a better effort than we thought. <laughs> I have a feeling he put that in touch just to get to the break. <laughs> now we go into extra time. Okay, it's time for everyone to dig deep. We need to inspire the team. I don't want to be too much of a hard ass. It's going to be a hard season. We need to. Have the team in good spirits, good morale. Josh Rose has really been putting in a shift for us. I don't know if the ratings represent that, but he's 
like 35, so I always feel like he's a real pack horse. He just does the work. God, and we are getting, we are desperately defending. I mean, for all our, God damn it, we didn't mark properly moments. We're having a lot of, damn, we really got in there and desperately shut the play down at the last second, or we really got our heads down. Sydney uh, just... I, I don't know what it is with Sydney. They're, they're just throwing a lot of more longer balls and passes and crosses and you feel like they're low percentage plays and they're, they're still making something of them like there, but I feel like if they got the ball down and made better runs and passed it a bit more shorter and like stuff like that, on screen there's just no good for them. See, both teams are exhausted. The 60% of fatigue is... That's, that's massive what condition it is. That's... That's huge. I don't, I, don't, I try and take people off when they get in the 60s. <laughs> now the whole team's in there. This is just lack of match match conditioning. It's hard as well. We're a bit younger. I think overall we'll be quite a young side. We have some, some seniors, obviously, but our attacking line definitely doesn't. That's, that's going to be an issue. And I just don't know if it's something we can solve within a season. I mean, I feel... We'll, we'll see how we go. We'll definitely give it our best run this year, but I feel like we're building a two or three year project to be honest that's one thing the early clubs really in the real world need to think of they, they're they way too quick everyone seems to promise getting into finals footy and, and which any team at any time should be able to get into the finals but some teams need to step back and say look we, we can't always just aim to win every year the resources just aren't there or we need certain players to get some growth in them or something it's too much pressure in the short term. The turnover of managers is ridiculous in the A-League for, for what the A-League is. But I digress. We're talking about the FFA Cup here, aren't we? <laughs> this is my problem. I like going out on little segues like that, but um, or tangents, I suppose. As related or not they are, we get in behind there, but Bingham hasn't quite got any support. I need to really... I don't know if I've set up a corner kick strategy I usually have a couple on the run um, we'll see how we go at least there we drove Sydney back keeper I kind of like the keeper here youngster uh, he's owned by Spurs I think and we've loaned him for a year he might have been brought up in Central Coast clock's ticking though Sydney are getting desperate you can see they're starting to not string passes together like they were and oh my god it's that Boajo again finishing the game as he started one on one with the keeper Man, he scored the goal, and he's been playing okay, but he's missed two that we really need someone to be finishing. But it's made worse when Ninkovic misses one with no pressure whatsoever. Right in front, right at the death. Sydney will be fuming because they have had the run of the game. It's only the last like 20 minutes where we've been passing it around. And so penalties... Probably not what you want at this stage of the season because everyone's exhausted and you don't want to risk injuries and you're just trying to, you know, get a few 90 minute games in to, to keep everyone fresh. But, oh, penalties. I, I just, there's no one who could like penalties. It's like a necessary evil to get over the line. Bobo sinks his, one all. Come on, Rose. Big lefty puts it away. We're good. Oh. That one was really, really fired in. It, they all look fired in at the speed, I guess. Did that come back off the crossbar, I think? Oh, no. Oh, I think he either parried that one into the back of the net. We're so close here, but just... Oh, now we need them to miss. Come on. Come on, Glover. Not that one. Who's coming up? No pressure or anything. This is Alan, Alan Barrow. Defender. Big guy. Come on, put it away, mate. Yes, this is it, this is it, Seb Ryle, no pressure, but don't don't screw it up, saved, we're still in it, still in it, McGing puts one away, now how the tables have turned, I'm not sure who, um, who this gentleman is, he must be a youngster from the team, no pressure at all on him, puts it away there, that was pretty pretty silky finish oh and that one at the keeper and he just fists it away and now Zulo comes in another one of the wide fullbacks what's he gonna do lefty and he sinks it and that's the end of our game 
Uh, we put in a good effort. We were definitely under the pump, but I think most of our games are going to look like this, at least against some of the, the main sides. So <laughs> we're, um, we got to keep our heads together and, and keep working on that kind of thing. Anyway, we've been going for long enough and you've probably sick of hearing from me and stuff like that. So I'll leave you to it for now and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.